defending champion from China, Wang Shixian. So there is the 21 year old Japanese player, Minatsu Mitani. My goodness, what an improvement over the last 12 months or so. Quite officials both from Korea. Sun Hee Ju and Kang Shin Young. Well, for Wang Sha Xian, not only won the title last year, but was also champion back in 2010. She has, though, been in the final of this particular event. Not the lady we're looking at at the moment, but her opponent for three consecutive years. That is Minatsu Mitani. Shikawa in Japan. World ranking up one place to a career high 10 in the world ranking. Now, her results so far, well, she had a tremendous battle in the second round against the number eight seed, Tina Bound from Denmark. Former champion, of course, Tina Bound of this Korean Open. She was 4 11 down in the third game before she came back to win it, as you can see, 21.18 in an hour and three minutes. And then yesterday against Jindapon, saved two game points in that opening game and then saved a game point in the second game. That was a tremendous match, 24-22, 22-20. really was a thriller. So to the 22-year-old from Suzhou in the southeastern province of Jiangsu, World ranking of five and seeded five in this particular event. And as I was saying, she's been in the final of this for the last three years, having won last year and 2010. But what is of concern, perhaps, as we look at the fact that she's won all of her matches in two straight games and not played against a seeded player, Korean opponent, Beijing Ju, in yesterday's quarter-final. But I suppose what's of concern for the Chinese player, former world number one, is that she hasn't won a Super Series title since here 12 months ago. Fifth meeting between these two players, as you could see, Wang Xuxian, having won three of the previous four, but perhaps the most important was the last meeting. And the last time they met was in the second round of the China Masters last year. And Minatsu Mitani won in two straight games. On my right, Mitani Minatsu Japan. And on my left, Wang Xuxian China. Wang Xuxian to serve. Lobo. Play. Sun Hee Ju, our umpire, calling for play to get underway. It's a nice start by the defending champion, Wang Shashian. She needs a good start, in all honesty. I know she reached the final of the Super Series finals in Shenzhen just last month. Lost into the final to Li Shirui, but retired in the second game when she was a game and 15 4 down. But I think, Jim, what's of concern? Take away the Super Series no. finals. Her last five Super Series events prior to this, her win loss record over those five Super Series events, five and five. Best players have more concern than that. But, 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 but it, I mm. think, I think uh, it's, I think that the way she's played here, I, f I think we, she's, she's, uh, she's looking good. So I, I think she's the favorite against Minato. Uh, um, 
you see players that has these. Uh, you actually see players that has to go to the top. They have to have to go down sometimes, mm. and and uh, maybe she's been struggling with, to find her proper game, or maybe she's been trying to work on things to improve. And when you when you do work on things, sometimes you, you do have a One, a long period three. of time where it doesn't work. It is I know a long time, twelve months, wasn't it something like that? Twelve months. It's a long time I know, but you do title. see it uh, uh, that when people say, okay, if I'm to read the next step. I have to work on on a special thing, uh, um, and then you see. Totally agree, but I suspect in this particular instant, because of course Wang Shuxian uh, was former world number one. She finished the Olympic qualifying period ranked number three in the world, the third Chinese women's singles player. But she wasn't selected by the Chinese team to go to the Olympic games of course you only allowed three players yeah. they selected the fourth ranked player instead Lee Shirley and of course Lee Shirley went on to take the gold medal yeah. but you know when you look at the fact that Wang Shuxiang hasn't lived up to her seeding position last year between the Asian Championships in April and the Super Series finals in December not once did she live up to her seeding position. She's struggled. She's lost to players. Well, maybe who maybe there's a pressure when you're number one. Of and, course. Yeah, and you do see some players that, that goes to the top and think, oh, that's fantastic. And then when they are at the top, it's actually very difficult to live up to the expectation. So so maybe she's been so struggling with that and and then needed, you know, five. now she's, you know, she didn't get picked for the Olympics. Now she, she has something. She's got the hunger back and she comes a little bit as an underdog now and uh, play more freely. Um, yeah. Well, I think... We can't uh, question her qualities. She's, no. She's a fantastic player. Yeah. So. But I, I, I think you make a very good point because, you know, she was number one in the world so the last back. Sudaman Cup. Six. The very first match Whoa. China had was against Germany. She lost to Juliana Schenk. She was immediately dropped from the team. And they put Wang Sin in instead, and then Wang Sin went and lost to Saina Nawal of India, so they pulled her back in. But what does that do to the psychology of the player when, you know, obviously the head coach has said, mm, I'm, I'm worried about you playing at the top well, singles. It doesn't, it doesn't give you confidence, yeah. that's one thing for oh, sure. Exactly. Uh, 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 as a player, of course, if you had a bad result, then you might, go, you know, you want to go in straight away and make, make up for it. And if you don't get that chance, it can can really really leave a mark on your confidence yeah uh, um, but I think also you know the point of of being number one in the world when you reach that status um, you know you've been number one in the world in men's doubles I've been fortunate to be number one in the world and getting there is relatively easy in comparison with staying there yeah, and, yeah. and I look at all of women's sports and you especially see it in women's tennis how many world number ones have we had over the last decade you know the number ones come and go so quickly you know which is you know Safina uh, Ivanovic Wozniaki uh, Jankovic so many players have achieved that but then can't hold on to that status it's a big big pressure and I think in, in women's sports sometimes, you know, women by nature tend to be a little more sensitive and therefore they feel the pressure perhaps even more. Yeah, and then Four, not only seven. that, but she's also coming from a country that has so many good single players who of course yep. has her number, as you say. <laughs> so yep. so, so uh, it's probably m even more pressure for her than if you were from, from another country. Yeah. Uh, um, I so, mean, e I so even within her, in, in her training, that's pressure to stay as number yeah. one, you know, to, to get the benefits and to have the, the confidence of the coaches. Uh, um. I, I've even heard talk about, you know, in, unless she really started winning events, she was going to be out on the national squad. Now, I don't know whether those rumours, whether there was any truth to those rumours at all. But, you know, I think that, you know, when we, when we watch a match like this, we need to understand of course we can appreciate her, her skills we've already seen so many delightful skills in these very early stages but we need to understand as well what might be going on in her mind yeah. and and this is so so important for her you can hear that little squeal Nine, of delight when the serve four. she saw the serve go in 
Some may interpret that as trying to influence the, the line judge. Uh, I don't on she, this. She doesn't need that on that one. No, exactly. <laughs> it was a beautiful yeah, serve. Uh, no, but of course, she, she's looking for, 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 for success. And, and, and uh, um, well, her start here has been good. So, yeah. so far, she's living up to it. Judgment too. Ten, four. Oh, Matani needs to certainly up her game. This doesn't look to these so far, has she? She's made, made a lot of errors in the beginning. I think she's struggling a little bit with Lang's pace and, and power. Uh, so she doesn't really get in balance to, to make her shots. Service over. Five. She has a five point advantage at the mid game interval. Mitani plays a really, really good net shot. This is almost impossible. <laughs> well, Mitani playing a little bit better here the last couple of rallies, uh, rallying a little bit more. Um, waiting for a chance. He's mentioned the fact that she made one or two unforced errors in this first half of this opening game, but is there something tactically Matani should be trying to do no, I, I differently? Think, I think she has to I think she has to chase Wang, you know, kinda of chase her around court. Uh, uh, she has to control, dictate the pace. Uh, uh, not necessarily about hitting hard, but more, you know, letting the rallies go as we saw at the beginning as soon as Wang gets the chance she has a pretty hard smash straight down line for example. And, uh, Eleven, and she needs to kind of play it for uh, the game so play. Wang doesn't really get into those positions where she can attack. Uh, that's easier said than done, but but that that I think uh, is Wang, uh, Wang's biggest chance. Ah. And that's the way to do it, you know, Silver. keeping the shuttle down. So that means Seven. Wang is in defense. So. Eleven. Shuttle was still in the tumble. Look at this. Counter spin. Magnificent. And even directed to the side of the yeah. court is very, very difficult. Had she put that one straight, Wang would have been up there. Killed it. So. See, that's what she has to be careful with. Over. Too slow, too high to Five. the back court. Eight. Where Wang is in position and she has so many weapons. Oh, nice. 
Tony does have wonderful retrieving capabilities, but I'm with you on this, Jim. I think she needs to take more initiative. I don't think she can sit back and and really just react to what Wang Shoshian is throwing at her. Oh. It's kind of a balance game yeah. she has to play. Again, I can tell you that Natani asked for the shuttle to be changed. The umpire indicated that it should be changed, and then Wang Xiaoxian said, No, I don't want to change it. And the umpire changed her mind. Oh, it's gone wide. 15, 8. I think it's definitely, if it's a little bit of a quick shuttle, uh, I think it's in Wang's favour. Uh, mm. So that's probably, you can also see she doesn't look, that's, that's a very big mistake. Doesn't really look comfortable no. with fast shuttles. Mechanics. She likes she likes to be able to hit hard on things to the back court without it going out. So yeah. Six, ten, eight. definitely not the way to uh, to win the match. A really, really bad judgment now. She's such a good player. She will normally she would judge that better. That's at least 20 centimeter in from, from both sides of the line. So. A bit of a panic. Much better. Yeah. Tiny. So your balance between hitting hard and then coming in with a soft drop, cross drop. Um, so she kind of pushes Wang to be in defense and then cross it with a drop shot. She gets in balance, you can really, she really, really hits a good. So, um, Tiny needs to be really careful of giving her those chances. Concerned hey. about the body language of Minatsu Mitani. She's also, you know, she's, she knows she's, she's an underdog and she knows she needs to bring out something special to win this one. And you can also say, you know, she's been through a two, two matches here where she saved yeah. herself at, at the last minute. Yeah. So uh, sometimes, you know, 
with a bit of set satisfaction comes into play. Here. You know, you're satisfied with what you have achieved, uh, and when you feel that the other one is superior to to yourself, you might, you know, have a tendency to to fall down in a hole you can't get out of. So. Opportunities are plenty. It's nice. Yeah. Twenty one eleven. First game won by Wang Zixian, 21-11. 17 minutes of play. And the time at the moment, looking out of sorts. So the defending champion, number five seed, Wang Shoshian. Very, very impressive in that opening game, 21-11. She started the second game, the way she finished the first game. I'm convinced that Minatsu Mitani needs to change her tactics. I thought it was very interesting, Jim, that uh, Shoji Sato was coaching her at the interval there. And, of course, he's only, literally only just retired from international competition himself, former number one men's singles player for Japan. In fact, he reached the last 16 of the Beijing Olympics and then competed in doubles in the London Olympics with oh, Naoki Kamawai And again, straight from a player into coaching your national team. I know you went straight from playing into coaching, but it wasn't your national no. team, was it? No. And I, 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 I think that's, that's very healthy, that, that you know, 
but for me it was very healthy over. that I didn't do that. So like one, got my feet two. wet somewhere else. If you say, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if that's the expression, but but perfect, um, perfect expression. Uh, 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 um, also because when you go to to, to your own country, you, you're, you're coaching. Well, well, you can be coaching players that you actually played with and against. Yeah. And I think it's a little bit important that you have that distance uh, before you start doing it. Um, Precisely. But he's coaching he's a women's singles exactly. player. So, so, so they made the right choice to, yeah. to, to do that. Uh, I'm not saying you can't do it, uh, but, but well, I'm just saying I, li well. I like the way I, I, I approached it. I was in Austria first and I was in Ireland. And now I'm, I'm doing the Denmark. Um, so... Yeah. Um, that that's for me was 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 a good situation. You also you also really learn a lot from being in other countries. You know, so, so you both you can from in my from in my case it was Denmark. See what really works well in Denmark, and and also you've been challenged in other areas that's when you over. go to another country, especially in Europe. Uh, because it works different. You have to Two. work with the, with the politics One. side of it and with them. Mental side of it and stuff like that, so it's, it's it's good. And particularly relevant, I think, given the progress of the entire Japanese squad over the last five or six years, when former World and Olympic Korean badminton player Park Ju Bong moved to Japan, and my goodness, what a difference he's made! And the fact is, he's not just worked with the players; he's worked with the coaches as well and made a big difference there so very very relative relevant and a very good point oh, that's lovely so isn't it so yeah, Four, I, I was at the two. i was at the world junior champ championship in chiba uh, and you could definitely see the improvement in Jap japanese players there all japanese women singles final girls singles final and yeah. won the men's singles as well all very I know it was on home court but you know it, you can you can see a, a kind of a culture difference and I kind of believe in what they do yeah oh, that's too they can leave, they, they can they believe that's they can silver. challenge the other countries now three and that's what we need four. Tani to show yeah she, we yeah. need her to yeah. show the belief belief yeah. that that yeah. you know that last shot mm. she took the initiative she's the one that played the tight tight angle yeah. we need to see more of that from her if we're going to see her really challenge the defending champion in this semi-final. Service over. Down the line. Five, three. Very precise yeah. today. Uh, well, very precise in, in, in the placement of shots. Now we've discussed at length before, haven't we, with Wang Shoshian, the amount of time she takes in between rallies and their very slow, deliberate walk across to the service judge to get a new shuttle. It's only been playing 24 minutes, it's not as if we're, you know, an hour into the match. No, it shouldn't be fatigued at all. So, uh, Four, but that's five. something that's been debated for, for, yeah. for a good time now. Have to have some kind of a change in the rules. I don't know what could be the best rule. Yeah. Also, to get more, you know, equal uh, uh, for the for the umpires, you know, some, you know, the, we are we're all human, so, so so umpires call it different. Oh. Mm. So more consistency. More consistency. Five. Maybe give them some tools oh. to, to have. Yeah. You know, say within so and so long time, you have to start. No, I think I'm seeing a bit of a difference in body language and attitude here from Mitani. I think the next few rallies could be quite crucial. Oh, shocking high serve. Desperately short. That's gone wide. Mm. Oh, well, well. Two big mistakes by Six, you now. Five.
seven, five. Changed around a little bit now, no? Yeah. It's, uh, Wang said it's, uh, what can you say, body language is... And, and this is what's bothered me in recent tournaments, I have to say, about this lady, Wang Shoshian. You know, when you're the, the number two seed at the French Open, number three seed in China Masters, four seed in China, four seed in Hong Kong, and didn't get past the second round. No, no. Ah, ah. yeah. over. Six, seven. But you have these types of players that when, when they play their top level, they're very good. But their bottom level is not that good. Mm. So if she's not up for it and she's not constantly pushing herself like, you know, attitude and stuff like that, maybe, maybe her bottom level is so, so low that she's a single rounder. Um, but her top game is... Um, is winning. Is winning. Yeah. Landed in. Service over. Yeah, that's a real demonstration Eight. of the difference Six. in ends. The drift in this arena. Holding the shuttle up at the far end there. That's landed inside the back line. <laughs> so the shuttle flying a little faster coming towards us as we look down on the court. In all honesty, Jim, I feel sorry for her because I can I can almost see the mental torment that she's it. going through. Yeah. It's, it's she's a better player than this, and I'm, and I don't mean that in disrespect to Mitani. Mitani is a great player as well, but you know that Wang Shoshian, she won the gold medal in the Asian Games. You know that she's won the All England Some title silver. before. Seven, you know that was in 2011. Nine. Bronze in world championships, and yet she's she's making hard work of it in recent months. The confidence somehow just seeping from her body. Yeah, and then just a simple clear and a simple drop shot yeah. is the, the most difficult thing in the world for her. So. It looks very, you know, for me looking at it, it looks very tense in there, you know, it looks like mm. oh, you know, just scraping the shot over and, you know, so there's no really freedom, there's no, there's, they, they're not no. loose, they're very tight, so maybe, you know, this means yeah, way too much for them, yeah. you know what I mean, you know. It's, uh, well, if the rumours are true about Wang Xiaoxian's place at the National Training Centre is is correct, my goodness, there's oh, pressure on her. That's Nine. That's basically oh. being in the best centre in the world to yeah. the career's over. But, I mean, given the, the fact that in the recent China League matches, former world champion Wang Lin, who of course won the gold medal in Paris in 2010, tragically has had a repeat of that anterior cruciate knee ligament injury. She's once again flown to Europe to have surgery on her knee and she's actually said, I need to listen to my body now. Yeah. My body has said, no more badminton. Yeah. So, you know, they've lost one of their highly talented players. Oh. There's injury problems Ten, and woes nine. for world champion Wang Yi Han. Mm. You know, can they afford to... That's the thing with, you know, you got to give credit to China that they have so many. So, many. so not only is Wang fighting for her, her, her place in, in on the world stage, she's also fight, fighting for her spot in the Chinese setup. Yeah. Because, trust me, without knowing it, I'm mm. pretty sure that there is a lot of good lady singles players outside the center oh. that wants to come into the center. 11-9 yeah. so, so, interval. You know, that is pressure. and. But that's also what makes him so good. Yeah. That's what makes him so good. 
Yeah, and I thought that she was really struggling at 6-9 down. What does she do? Five straight points and she's to the mid-game interval with the advantage. Yeah. Mm. Sport is just so intriguing, isn't it? It is. And so much more than physical capabilities. Yeah. Yeah, I wish we could see what uh, Soji Cold Sato one. was saying 20 to seconds. Mitani. Cold one. 20 seconds. For both coaches here, it's important to make them focus on on what's important. That's not the end result right now. Yeah. It's here 11, in the present. Nine. You know, one rally at the time. Play. Lose not play freely. Uh, ah. um, there's there's many players I've tried myself sometimes where you you already start to think what happens if you lose? What happens mm -hmm. if you win? And if, if you're too too far ahead of yourself then uh, you forget to be in the press. Yeah, it's all about the here and now. Yeah, it is. 12, 9. And I know it's an old cliche in sport. Just focus on the next rally, but yeah. that's really it what works. you do it's have to do. Clever, clever person who came up with that, because it's so true. Just see that shot, you know, this, with, with, with the ability and how good a player Wang is. That's not, you know, Ten, you could in training where 12. everything the sun is out and she's smiling and having a good day. See, nine out of t ten out of ten times he would make that mistake. Yeah. But, and just tells you that that's the pressure is on. Then you have these Play. players that, that when the pressure's on, they're on the best. You know, if you see a player like Den Lindan, when the pressure is on him, he comes out with the best game that he can play, possibly. So um, some, some players really like that pressure. But isn't that what defines the champions? It's not necessarily the ability to play the great shots, it's the ability to play the great shots in the pressure situation. Yeah, yeah. You see it time and time again. How many times did we see Pete Sampras in tennis when he was break point down, serve an ace? Yeah. Well, How many times? You knew it was coming. Exactly. Yeah. Same with Roger Federer. Yeah. That's what defines the champions. Yeah. So, you know. You have to enjoy being in that situation. Exactly. You have you to love live, it. Live, live for it. You know? Yeah. situations right now. That's where we're all. Important points. She had back towards that sideline, obviously asking herself in her own mind whether she should have played it or not. Yeah. I think but you often see that when a little bit of miss hit from Mitani, you see mid of the court, a little bit inside, you often see players miss that because they're a little bit out of balance. So. Yeah. Yeah, there's the look up to the lights, down to the line. I believe the shuttle would have landed well. Yeah. She was right to play it. This be a turning point. And see the funny way, the way the Mitan has come back into 14, this match is not by doing anything. 12. She has basically just kept it simple and played the shot over and then Wang has made all the points for her. You know, that again, Wang, that's not even a close shot. Just straight into the table. But don't you think the fact that Wang Shashian was slow to react and push forward to me is a real sign of nerves when you're nervous you, you can't move freely you, you, get move have a, uh, you don't have a relaxed hitting action no. that's why she made the mistake Some on that silver. previous smash because her arms are tense your Fought legs it. are tense you can't then quickly change direction and you'd think 
as the defending champion, a game up. And she seemed to be flowing. She seemed to be in, in good form and then suddenly it all tightens up and things change completely. But when you when you just you just read her history early on uh, for the last year. Yeah. And she played well. She played good first set, she was oh. up here also. Mm. But it doesn't take a lot. You no. start thinking about oh not again. Yeah. You know? And what's Lee Yongbo going to say this time? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Lee Yongbo, of course, the head coach to the Chinese team. Are we allowed to call him a supremo? Why not? Yeah. Very successful. Yeah. Can't argue with that. Service over. 15, 14. something out of nothing. 15. Off. Slicing across the feathers. Look at this. Now that racket head just wrapped round the feathers of the shuttle. Slicing the feathers, creating the extra spin. Racket head comes through quickly. You think it's going to be a smash. And then it's that lovely little angle. Very effective shot. Yeah. Especially in lady singles, we've seen being, being used a lot. There's one thing I think so one could so be over. much, much better at it. So is she has the big smash, but she doesn't really have that many other than that cut we saw there. She doesn't really have that many other weapons. And, and even if she puts her smash uh, into the rally, uh, when she comes forward, she doesn't. She hardly ever comes forward and kills it. She always goes for a lift or some kind of a, a spin drop, um, which just gives you gives the opponent the chance to come back into the rally. So I would like her to see move forward a little bit more, maybe show them that that uh, she can go for the kill. See that again? She, she, she doesn't really look comfortable at that net. Doesn't uh, look committed either no, to me. No, no, it's, like, it's a half chance, as you know. Oh, yeah. Okay, can I, can I not? Um, she needs to improve that area. Yeah. See that again? Yeah. That means that the only thing that Mitani has to be, you know, aware of is that smash and that cut. And see, she's already seen that now. See? Well, that's good. But she's, you know, you hardly ever see her come up and kill it. Seven, you know? So, oh. um, it's almost as if she's playing with an attitude of coming forward instead of, this is a half opportunity to play the winner. Yeah. I'm not going to make the error. Yeah. And that's the attitude, and that's the big difference when you see the 
very best players, whether it's Li Shi Wei or Wang Yi Han in the women's singles or Lin Dan and Li Chi Chong Wei in the men's singles, when they come forward, they're looking for the half yeah. opportunity to play the winner. Yeah. They're not looking to, and, and saying to themselves, oh, crikey, don't make an error. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Whereas that, to me, with Wang Xiaoxian, she needs to get back that belief and that confidence. So when I come forward, this is my opportunity that I've waited for to try and play the yeah. winner. Another thing that that's see again here. Yeah. An another thing that is also if you think about to to try and tell your opponent that you know this one is closed, is that yeah. even that you go up and hey, give it a go and miss 17. it. Next time Mitani's playing that backhand shot to the net, she knows that Wang is standing up there. Yeah. So exactly. the, the room for error is going to be bigger. Uh, but but if she doesn't do that, Wang is comfortable saying, "Okay, nothing's going to happen here. I'm just going to play it yeah. back, and then she's just going to rally." Well, the defending champion goes back into the lead at this crucial stage of the second game. Almost kind of. <laughs> Complete mishit from Mitani. And now the two time winner of this event, just two points away from her fourth consecutive final here at the Korean Open. run of five straight points from 15-17 adrift and all credit to the defending champion three match point opportunities She does take a long time. Yeah. Say. Yeah. I would like to see that tennis. Speed up the game. too yeah. long and indeed it is a fourth consecutive final for the defending champion Wang Chuxian what a record she has here at the Korean Open match won by Wang Chuxian 21-11 21-17 umpire confirming the score 44 minutes needed to book her place in her fourth final <laughs> in four appearances here at the Korean Open. Their confirmation of the score, 21-11, 21-17. And Wang Shoshian will contest the final once again in defense of her title tomorrow. There is confirmation of that. Who she'll play in tomorrow's final is yet to be decided. Both those players in the top half of the draw, Sung Jae Hyung and Han Lee, both unseeded players. Will it be an all Chinese final or will Sung Ji Hyung manage to make it through to the final once again? Because of course she was beaten finalist back in 2010.
Well, there you can see that three of our five semi-finals have been completed. Two lots of success for China in the women's doubles and the women's singles, and of course, success for Korea in the men's doubles. Next up will be men's singles, and then mixed doubles will finish off semi-finals day here in Seoul. Du Peng Yu, the number four seed from China, up against the unseeded Sunny Dui Kun Chura is the men's singles match next on our centre court. Du Peng Yu, the number four seed from China, appearing in his third consecutive semi-final here at the Korea Open. I think it was this event back in 